Hello everybody, so welcome to a brand new video. Today we're busting an iPhone at 14, yes, 14. Now the 15 just came out. We can see how we go. I'm just going to the old one, the older one. It's tested and works, hopefully. Um, I went to Best Buy, so I get the phone, and they didn't have any of the 14s. You guys said, well, wait until the 15 comes out yeah, here in a week. Like, yeah, you don't know what's wrong with them, though. I hear about it, yeah, you get software and you fixed, but time to find the problem, find what's causing the problem, update, write the update, hopefully test it, blah blah. I'm like, I'd rather go for something that's known to be working just fine. That's why I went with the iPhone 14 instead of the 15 that just came out. I went the 14 Pro, but I didn't have a 14 Pro. Or an Apple either, so I said, alright, screw it, I'll go with the 14, this one of them. I have the iPhone 8 after about 5 years now. It was great, nothing wrong with it. I figured it out. I'm gonna upgrade it. Something, but anyway. I want my brother to myself too. Ugh. I don't believe it. Alright. Here we have the box. Let's see how it's up at the bottom. The numbers. Part of the anti-temper then. Get going. It feels nice. The lightning the USB C cable, which I find completely useless. I have one Mac that uses USB C and that's it. And I have one or two computers when I don't use that much, so I'll be using the old lightning to USB A cable instead. That's good to have that option there. Here we go, the first button. So I take my phone now or not. Better. Hello. So, English, US. Mm -hmm. I have eleven no later, it says sixteen. Continue. Hold your camera. Alright. Never seen this before. It's kind of cool. I just did the other watch too, but. Set for me. Passcode. It's pretty cool, you can do this, I know you can do this. Hello. Oh, that's a shit angle. Oh, so that's it on your iPhone. Um, keep your this iPhone near your new iPhone, water information transfer. Get the Mexican penis to activate your iPhone. Apple Quest hardware information on your iPhone in order to identify and activate it on our. On our Apple Clips hardware identifiers from your iPhone in order to identify and activate it on our services. There you go. And from your phone number, right, is that. That's one from Verizon, push iPhone. Verizon, we to continue. Account pin. Uh, I think this is it. I'm not wrong, shit. Mm. As for the SSL, which I don't know because I don't own the accounts. I have permission to do this, I'm hoping I'll stop in for it. I was going to set the account up as an Ethan. 
Yes, yeah, sorry, now we're going to take a few minutes. Take very easy to do it. Just put the teeth on together and say, fuck it. Have at it. It's actually pretty nice. Of course, I don't know about NFC or. Nice, you look decent. No, it's so dark. Oh, well, um, fuck it. I had the brightest of the math on this one. It's still pretty bright. Turn on your earbuds, now it's hurting the lock. The shutter doesn't work, but you know, it's not way it works. But I'm making these see blocks to plug into the wall, so. Here we go. Cloth. Oh, apple stickers. Yeah. Oh. You know what I need a physical SIM card? I don't need eSIM during Apple and set. One version of Apple.com slash eSIM. Um, iPhone nonsense. This is the, like the preamble to the EU LA. Not really, but, you know, the corporate garbage. Yeah, one whole apple here. One here. Can't afford it yet to try to put some stickers for it. Not for what's my opinion, but whatever. You. Oh. Oh no. Oops. Alright, that's it. That was my, my, my alarm went off for my next class that I didn't go to because I got all the work done for it. It's more of an online class, but you can't attend in person if you want. So when I came before that class, I had your arms set, so I know. I will set that up later. We're not going to transfer the app and I'll do it manually. Use iCloud. It's good thing you don't need as much to do that taste of the vacation because right now I have to try to on the other phone. Alright, here's the terms and conditions. I read all that totally. Get that long on. Whoops. Oh well. It worked out at least. Worst track. I'm just having in all this stuff here and figure out who it belongs to and I'm your boss now and make this new iPhone. Sure. Okay, no. Nope, well shit to get hacked and stolen. Set up where we're Alright. Yes, I want sure. Not better. Alright. Mm. Mm. And we are in the phone. Oh, sorry, yes. Oh, I'm in the tester. Oh, that's it. Oh, sorry. Do you want turd? Uh, I guess. Make sure the new phone works. Well, it works. Alright, uh, good. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. It works. <laughs> Cute. Alright, I know contacts yet, but let me just. Oh, wait. 
Now it's sort of pull motion. Now it shows up it's called. So do I have Alright now I don't try to find next. Join up. Sweet. Alright. Thought I'm doing so. So I'll do more in the future on this one. But uh yeah. Get on to it, that's it. Alright. Welcome to the end of the video. It's very short, quick one this time. It's that it's done. Then it'll be a full review. I I do want to go back at some point. I also got uh, other stuff I've unboxed and talked about it now. Half a while to what I think of it. But this is not for that. I'll get a brief week review and then call it there. It's been a week, not over a week actually. I saw that September 21st. I, this is not October 1st. It's been about 10 days since I got the phone. Oh, there it is. And it's case. Alright, let's do it more. Um, this case is like this. I went 50 fucking dollars for Why, Apple, Best Buy? Why 50? This is 25 at Best Buy too. That's a pretty good one. Pretty good one. I do not need a 50 dollar case. This is one that basically looks like the same thing as this. Like, right? whatever. Anyhow, back to the phone itself. The phone itself? Generally, I have no problem going about the window. I I like it. I like it more than I thought it would actually. Um, I was kind of concerned that I have the eight and before that the six. This is the first one I've had. Does my whole into it. Did not bother me at all. It's not my first time using a phone with no home button. It's the first, it's the first one I've had though that doesn't have it. So if my dad had one. It's like a eleven or thirteen, whatever. Uh, one of my, one of my, the first one I got to try out, one of my high school teachers got an iPhone 10 and she let people uh, play with it and kind of see what it's like doing the new method of sliding it within. So, generally, I kind of knew how to do it. I did have to look, I did have to look up how to get into the app feature. If you want to see how to do it, I'll show you real quick. Uh, we'll open it. I'm going to sign it Discord it today. Or oh, not take the six feet in the pocket open. Why can I use one shooting sensor for my okay. Uh, so yeah, the episode is gonna have but already I don't do I do this. Oh, you can add too high. Just like what have we? It's not, it's like this, and boom. Take it in there, and then you can just... Damn it, it didn't hold up. You just... Go halfway up, and there you go, and then... Boom. Probably if you don't know, home button, just... Slide up. Down from here is your control center. And here's your notifications. Done. As you don't know, as you don't know, I knew everything but the out route. All these multitaskers, multitaskers slash applicator. The first one actually, the first one actually, I, I had to work out myself. I didn't know I couldn't figure it out. But otherwise, honestly, it doesn't bother me much. I kind of got used to it pretty fast and didn't. There's a couple of times where I tried to hit. There's a couple of times where I tried to hit the home button, but feeling far and far less than I thought I would. So overall. The phone works good, I'm glad I got it. I have heard, I have not looked into it. I have heard though, apparently the iPhone 15, this is the 14 obviously. I've heard the 15 which just came out, right when I got the phone, right when I got this phone. Has some overheating issues, I don't know for sure if that's the case. I've only read uh, videos about it. If that is the case, I'm glad I got this phone. Because you guys remember, I think I mentioned this in part 1. The guy at Best Buy said I should wait to get the 15. Well, I said I'd rather not because Jesus has problems. And then he said, well, 
they can fix it, they can fix that with updates over time. Like I explained, I think my problem that what that difference over heating level that means that PS Tougher problem. So it, it might be, it might be, it might not be a big thing at all. I don't know for sure. Again, I've only seen video tests that have not looked into it. But seeing that, I'm kind of glad I got this phone just in case it's a big problem. So, yeah. Try and test it, not brush it up and untest it and fuck it up. So, yeah. So, overall, I have the problem with the phone. I do have one problem with Apple, though. Especially the watch. I don't know the watch, but Apple's process, I think, kind of dumb. So, I got an Apple watch about the beginning of the year. My dad gave me, my dad gave me, gave me his old one. So I had set, set, set my iPhone 8, I had it paired to that. What is dumb is, why, why, why this, this is beyond stupid Apple. To unpair a watch my phone, it erases the whole thing, the fact it erases Why the fuck would you do that? To me, it makes no fucking sense at all. You unpair a watch, and it erases everything you watch. Why not unpair and repair it in like five seconds? No, it erases the whole thing. So I have at least to set it up that that, uh, that is beyond dumb. That is the only thing I've had. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is not, that's nothing to do with this phone at all. I have no problem with this phone at all. But, but the lot of the I had to pair the watch up. That was fucking stupid. I can understand it unpair or I'm not having a second option to unpair and reset. But I'm pairing. I mean, I mean, I mean, unpair it, it resets, no matter what. Uh, so when, you, when you unpair the Apple Watch from your phone, there's no way around it that I can tell. It erases the whole watch. That is the dumbest fucking thing I, 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 I That is the dumbest fucking thing I can fucking think of Apple. Why? So that's my, that's my only, that's the time I've been like, really, this is dumb. Other than that, other than that, this phone's great. Again, that's the Apple Watch. Apple's stupidity, not the phone. I just wanted to say that was dumb as hell. Um, the phone itself, though, I like it. I have a phone with it. Um, well, it's nice too. I have my, 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 my password organized. So, sign in the things. Very simple. I had no good to their passwords and stuff. Um, once, I got the watch, once, I got, once I got the watch set, it was fine. No problem there. I have only like one day or so. But so far it has any issues. Um But yeah. This is this did take some time running all the things I have on my old phone. Changing that right here. For example, I have a better percentage showing. Um I I hate when I can adjust the British of the screen screen tone, just let it be the way it is. Uh keyboard things I hate pretty 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 annoys me. I turned off my system like my like, keyword settings. Um, I could have probably cut it from the my old phone if I restored from the backup. I like the fresh start. One thing I did notice too, I went to my old phone, this thing like, as I had, well, that's what I need to do on here. There's a lot of apps, apps on my old phone I haven't used in years. I just don't need them anymore. I really just don't know in the first place. And I left them there because I wanted to use them more. So, I am glad I started up fresh. And sort of a new install and did it my way, did it manually because it's a lot of junk and I wrote to not on this phone. So, but yeah, overall, I have the phone, I have the phone, I like the phone, I have it, very, very happy with it. Little different, I'm paying $800 for a phone or 744 actually. And not know if you like it or not, but I like it a lot. No, I don't know if I'm going to have it with the Apple Watch thing. That was just dumb. But I'll quit since I'm like a broken record. I just want to make sure you guys know I'm not complaining about the phone. It's about the watch and Apple's stupidity. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I did. And I enjoyed the phone too. And hopefully, soon I'll start making all the videos from the most in the past. Or a year or two later or more. And I'm going to talk to Alright, if you all enjoyed. That's me guys. Take it easy.